Fight fans, fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. Gennady Golovkin signs a six fight deal with the zone through his own company, which is GGG Promotions, which is great. Three fights are guaranteed. It could raise to six, 10 million plus return fight in spring and summer, 30 million potential Canelo trilogy in December. The zone dates for GGG Promotions, and GGG gets equity in the zone. This is a rumor, though. All right. That sounds interesting. It sounds like a sweet deal. I wouldn't see why Gennady Golovkin wouldn't jump at it. But let's bear in mind the following things. One, that the WBC ordered that Jamal Chalo face Gennady Golovkin for the interim middleweight title. The winner will take on the middleweight champion of the world, Canelo Alvarez. See, if you look at the rankings here in the WBC, Jamal Chalo is the interim champion. Therefore, Gennady, who is the number one contender, is supposed to challenge Jamal Chalo for the interim championship. And whoever wins that fight should face Canelo Alvarez. Now that Triple G is at the zone, does that free up Jamal Chalo, who may be a free agent very soon, to go across to the zone and face Gennady Golovkin? Is this what's going to happen? I don't know. But here's another very interesting thing. If you go all across the WBO, Demetrius Andre, the number one contender other than Billy Joe Saunders is Gennady Golovkin. So if Billy Joe is not facing Demetrius Andre, then guess what? Gennady Golovkin will be. Now, from what I know, Demetrius and um, sorry, Billy Joe Saunders said that he was going up to 168 to um, have a title shot at 168. That's what I heard. I don't know how true that is. But if he's not having a title shot, then Gennady Golovkin's in position to face Demetrius Andre. And if you look at the deal with DAZN, Demetrius Andre is a DAZN fighter, or at least he fights on DAZN, which means that at least one of the three bouts that are guaranteed by Gennady Golovkin to happen should be and involve Demetrius Andre. So no matter how Gennady Golovkin twists or turns, He's going to have to fight a DAZN fighter. And guess what? Guess what? The guy who is most in position for that to happen is Boo Boo Demetrius Andre. Okay? So hopefully, Gennady Golovkin will not punk out, but he'll do like Canelo Alvarez. Even if he gets a tune up fight first, he should face Demetrius Andre sooner than later if, you, if, if I were him. Because Canelo, he's facing Danny Jacobs, the best middleweight in the division at the present point in time, in my opinion. Even better than Gennady Golovkin, in my opinion. Now, I heard Gennady Golovkin talking about the fight of the two losers and that he beat both of them. I don't know what he's talking about. But what I do know is this, <laughs> that um, it will be in his best interest to face a DAZN middleweight. And the DAZN middleweight I could think of is Demetrius Andrade. Of course, he may go up to 168. And uh, I'm hearing about some, some obsolete name uh, fighter, some Eastern European fighter he would be facing. All that's well and good. He can take his tune up. You know, everybody giving uh, Gennady Golovkin a pass. I don't give Gennady Golovkin a pass. He's supposed to face either Demetrius Andre or Jamal Chala. One of the two. But he's got to face them. Right? And as far as I'm concerned, that's the best thing he can do. Everybody else want to kiss his butt. That's up to y'all. But me, I'm not going to let him duck these fighters. Okay? Um, and he's with the zone, so for sure he's going to have to face Boo Boo because it's a three fight deal. One of them three fights, he's going to have to face Boo Boo. So that's just what it is. I'm talking about a tune up fight. I don't know why he needs a tune up. He just fought Canelo there in September. What he needs to do is get in the ring and face some good competition. But if he want to have a tune up, give him a tune up. Huh? Give him a tune up. No problem. Right? But my point is, that's the guy he should be facing. Because Demetrius Andrews himself is still not looking that great. Maybe he need another a contender or another tune-up. But, to be honest with you, his two mandatories are Billy Joe Saunders or Gennady Golovkin. Now, I think one of them is going to have to face him. So hopefully he gets one of them, and they don't just duck him. And if Gennady Golovkin said he wants all the belts, well, he had three of the belts. Why don't you just go get the fourth one? And he can say, in a kind of roundabout way, he was undisputed champion if he beats Demetrius Andre, right? So that's what I think about that. Leave your comments in the comment section. You guys have a great one.